Hello and welcome back for your last learning objective number five. Let's look at single step and multi-step statements of income or income statements. All right, there's two types, single step. We're just gonna lump everything as revenues and revenues and everything in expenses as expenses. Cool, that's single step. Um, it looks like this. All the revenues are here as revenues. All of our expenses are expenses. Cost of goods sold is mixed in with all of our other operating expenses. And the only thing that's kind of separated is income tax expense. Um, but yeah, single step, boom and done. Then we have our multi-step. And this is our gross profit, where it has our revenues, primary sales, less our cost of goods sold. And then we get from there our gross profit. Then we take gross profit, less operating expenses, and that gives us our income from operations. And then we kind of reconcile back to our single step. We have our income before tax, um, less our, pardon me, this is where we reconcile. So <laughs> we have so many steps in multi-step, you'll see. Um, so after we figure out our income from operations, we then have our other revenues so we might have things like interest income, um, you know, just things that are not like core to our business. And um, if Peloton, anyways, I won't, I won't bring a Peloton, but like if they, when they first started and they only really had bikes and like nobody was really doing the Peloton app, so they didn't really have sales um, for subscriptions beyond what their kind of bike users were. Um, maybe they would have a very small line here for their subscription um, outside of the bike um, items. But this would be like um, sometimes so PC Financial, um, blah, blah, would have like revenues when their banking first started. And then they would have their banking minus their like um, revenues minus their uh, interest costs to have um, kind of this other income and expenses. So then we have our main gig minus our, or pardon me, plus our side gig uh, gives us all the income before income tax. Again, similar to our single step minus the income tax expense, and that gives us our net income. So you'll see between the two single step net income of 25,300 and our net income from our multi-step 25,300. Um, net income doesn't change. It's presentation, it's information that changes between the two. This one helps us um, to let us know, hey, how much gross profit are you making from actually selling your goods? Again, if this is negative, no matter what you do down here, unless like your side gig pays off a lot, no matter what you do for expenses, you're losing money. If your gross profit is negative, essentially you should have stayed at home and not done any business and come out better off. All right, so example time. Uh, let's see if you can do both. Um, create, actually no, um, you can just create the multi-step, pardon me. Uh, so take some time, pause this video. There's gonna be a, a nice formulated uh, income statement on your next slide. Let me know, what is your gross profit? What is your um, profit from operations? I would love to see um, all of these steps, gross profit, net income, probably income from operations, income before income tax, and net income. Again, give this pause, see how you do, and then we'll do a take up in the next slide. All right, so how'd you do? Did you get gross profit of 412? That is our 1070 minus our cost of goods sold. How about recognizing that your operating expenses in order to go from gross profit to income um, from operations equals both your admin expenses and your selling expenses. So these two refer to as your operating expenses. Then to go from your income from operations, you're gonna have your, you know, for lack of a better term, I always think of these as like the side hustle. It's not your main gig, it's not your money maker, it's not like your, your main thing, uh, it's your side thing. So like what's, you know, What's the stuff that came in from that? Your other income. And then less the other expenses that were required to earn that income. So now we have our income from operations plus our other income. And then we have our total income before income tax. 
All right, now we have our lovely income tax. Uh, can never get away from that. 27,000 gives us our overall net income. Okay, so kind of an interesting business uh, in, in this respect. We can also give like a shout out that you start off and you make over a million dollars of sales and yet what you have left at the end of the day to distribute um, to shareholders, to reinvest in your operations, to weather down months and down times, is 106,000. So put some things into perspective that, you know, effectively you only get to keep to either reinvest or pay out to shareholders is about 10% of what you are earning on the top line. Interesting. Is that good? Is it bad? I don't know. It's all relative, right? Uh, we'll talk more about what these numbers mean in a uh, subsequent chapter, but that's the story that excites me. Like if you have two businesses and they each have a million dollars of sales, which one are you more likely to invest in? Well, it depends. You know, do you want a company that's really profitable now? Or do you want a company that perhaps has a high potential for increased profitability, more net income in the future? Do you want the Apple of 20 years ago? Uh, or do you want maybe some of the Peloton and Lululemon if you are uh, bullish on them? Just depends. Thank you for your wonderful attention. Uh, as we start going into October, uh, this is this is a time where a few students dropped off, um, not like actually, but probably um, attention wise last year when I taught this. I believe I started off uh, this year talking about the student who, you know, started off super strong and then couldn't get through the final exam. Um, and I, I do believe that I stopped seeing them around this time. So stay strong. It really is small incremental improvements. Nobody is born knowing accounting. Nobody is born doing a making an income statement. Like this stuff takes tap practice. This stuff takes time. And my team and I are here from you for you. Um, so please reach out to us. Uh, live virtual Q and A discussion board, office hours, emails. Um, we're here for that, and we're here for you. Take care and talk soon.